adding a regression line to a scatter plot in SPSS. In a previous video, we have estimated a regression model predicting attitude towards smoking from exposure and respondent's smoking status. Attitude, the outcome variable, is predicted by a constant 2.266 plus the effect of exposure plus the effect of the former smoker dummy variable and the effect of the smoker dummy variable. OK, so this is our equation, and now we want to present it by a line in a scatter plot. So let's make a scatter plot first. Under graphs, legacy dialogues, we can select scatter dot. We will make a simple scatter plot. We will put the predictor exposure on the horizontal axis and the outcome variable attitude on the vertical axis. And let's use the respondent smoking status as the color of the dots. Okay, let's paste. Now here is the scatter plot. Non-smokers are represented by the blue circles, former smokers by green circles and smokers by gold circles. If we want to add a regression line to this plot, we must double click the plot. There are two ways to add a regression line. The simplest one is this button to fit a line to all the dots. If we press it, we see that by default the linear line is selected, so we can close, and here is our line. Now let's have a look at the equation that is presented here, and compare it to the equation that we have created ourselves. As you can see, the constant in the equation of the regression line in the plot is 1.36, but it is 2.266 in the equation that we have spelled out. So the line that we have now is not the line that we want to have. Actually, it is the simple regression line of attitude on exposure without any other predictors. But in our model, we have other predictors, namely the respondent smoking status. So this is not the line we need. Let's remove it. Click it, press delete, and it's gone. The other way to add a regression line is with the button Add a Reference Line from Equation. Let's open it. And here we see that we can enter a custom equation. Y is the dependent variable, it's attitude on the vertical axis. X is the independent variable, exposure on the horizontal axis. And we can just change the right-hand part of this equation. I will add the constant plus the effect of exposure minus 0.3 times. Just use x to refer to the horizontal axis. And then how about the former smoker and smoker effects? Now we have to make a choice. For which smoking status do we want to have the regression line? We can only have one x in our equation, and exposure is the x that we need. So we have to replace the former smoker and smoker variables by a value. Now let's make a line for the non-smokers. I will just copy the equation. What is the value that non-smokers have on the former smoker dummy variable? It is zero, because they are not former smokers. Similarly, their value on the smoker variable is zero. They are not smokers. Now, if we multiply by 0, 0 is left. So basically, I can take out this one. I can take out this one. 0 times something is 0. And then adding 0 to something also amounts to nothing. So we can take that away. So basically, this is the regression line for non-smokers. We have it here. So let's, let's apply it. Let's color the line according to the color of the dots. And now we have a blue line representing the regression line for the blue dots. So this is the effect of exposure on attitude for non-smokers. In a similar way, we can add a line for former smokers. Again, press this button and then enter the constant plus the effect of exposure plus now we are talking about former smokers so we have 
minus 2.819 times 1 because the former smokers have to score 1 on the former smoker dummy variable plus minus 0.192 times 0 the former smokers have score 0 on smokers let's apply let's color the line the green and here we are the green line is the regression line for former smokers now what you can see is that the two lines are parallel there is a fixed vertical distance between the two lines and this distance is exactly the unstandardized regression coefficient for the former smoker dummy variable it's a difference of 2.8 this is how we add regression lines to a scatter plot. And when we are dealing with moderation in a regression context, we really need those lines to make sense of our results.